In the heart of the Franco-Manitoban community, Liberal leader Dougald Lamont faces a real challenge. St. Boniface has swung between the Liberals and New Democrats for nearly 50 years. With Dougal, he's done me, put it this way, he has, you know, he says what he does. I'm going for NDP all the way. Um, I, I don't know too much about Robert Loisel, but I know his family is from St. Boniface. In 2018, Lamont turned the seat red and briefly brought official status to his party. You do not have to hold your nose to vote NDP to get rid of Heather Stephenson. You can vote for Manitoba Liberals and stop both. NDP! Before that, St. B was held for years by former Premier Greg Selinger. Now, Lamont faces a new threat from the NDP, Robert Loisel. And I am the NDP candidate for St. Boniface. In a riding where more than 10% of people speak French at home, the Francophone Métis teacher born and raised here is seen as a real contender. I'm probably thinking people are voting more NDP just because they're, they're usually kind of seen as like the party that spends more. So like if there's like a crisis in like healthcare or like the sidewalks, roads, they're willing to spend more money. Though the Liberals trail significantly in the polls, the personal likability of Lamont may see him keep his seat. Do you typically kind of vote for the same party? CBC News heard as much from a recent voters forum. Um, I vote NDP, but I love Dougal Lamont. I think he's a smart dude. But he was making really good points about a lot of things in the debate. So um, if I could, I might vote Liberal. If you aren't tied to a to a party at all, and then you and you're just tied to the person. I would vote Dougal in a heartbeat. Here in Western Canada's largest francophone community, the progressive conservative candidate is university student Kurt Heyer. But it's really seen as a two horse race. Since the 1960s, the voting history of the constituency has largely been a study in red and orange. The NDP and Liberals trading power again and again and again. This time around, it'll be a contest between fidelity to a party leader and voters casting their ballots strategically. Matt Humphrey, CBC News, Winnipeg.